alimony. That's the stuff of movies, 50 sitcoms. It's not the reality that it once was. We once had a woman come in here who said that she'd come from an Eastern European country. She'd been married for a year and she was ready to get her $100,000 in alimony because she'd seen the movies when she was living back in Croatia and she knew that every woman in America got $100,000 in alimony. That's not what happens, okay? In Tennessee, we actually have a preference for alimony to be rehabilitative and temporary. Why do we have that? Because most of the people in the legislature are men, and men are the people who most often pay alimony. These days, alimony can go both ways, but in the overwhelming number of cases, it's paid by men, and in the overwhelming number of cases, men are the guys in the legislature. So figure they're going to look out after themselves a little bit on that. Now, rehabilitative alimony in Tennessee is supposed to be paid to help you rehabilitate yourself for what you've given up for being in the marriage. You've been married for 10 years. You were on your way to getting your medical degree and you stopped after your first year of medical school to help your husband in his stock trading business and raise the, the children. Well, now he's found a younger, cuter version of you. He's out pursuing her and you've got to start your life over again. So it's only fair to pick up where you left off in medical school for him to pay for you to complete your education to be what you were supposed to be, okay? In addition to rehabilitative alimony, because not everyone's getting ready to graduate from medical school, there's transitional alimony. You know, I've been married for a period, significant period of time, and you're going to need some alimony to help you get from where you are with your property division that you got in the divorce to where you need to be. Then there's alimony in futuro. Alimony in futuro is what our friend from Eastern Europe was thinking about. It's that money you get for the rest of your life or until death or remarriage. Okay, the death or remarriage, uh, that's when your ex-husband really likes the, you to date, okay? Uh, I've actually had cases where ex-husbands have contributed to the weddings of their wives because they were saving money in the long run by doing it. Uh, now, another thing about alimony, and watch this, is alimony that is subject to a contingency, such as death or remarriage, which rehabilitative alimony uh, and alimony in futuro can be, and under certain circumstances you could even make transitional alimony that way, is deductible to the person that's paying it and taxable to the person that's receiving it. With that, you can sometimes get a tax advantage by paying alimony. But even with a tax advantage, most people don't want to pay alimony. And most people would like to get it. So, there's one more form of alimony for us to, to know about. It's called alimony in Salido. Alimony in Salido is a specific defined amount. Okay, how much, uh, this is going to be. The husband is ordered to pay you the $100,000 that our friend saw in the movie, and he pays you at that at $10,000 a year over 10 years, okay? Uh, or he just pays you out $100,000. Now, how do we figure what alimony is going to be? Alimony is the vaguest thing in the law in Tennessee. It's the thing when clients ask me, well, what's that going to be the alimony in this case? It's the most difficult question for me to answer. It depends on a list of factors, like property division does. And in fact, many of the factors you see in property division, you see in alimony, in, in, in very like terms. Except for this, you do see fault at the bottom of the factors in alimony. It's not there in property division. But a lot of that rests in the guts of the judge. What does the judge think is right? The laws interpreting that, these laws here, have swayed a few years ago. Alimony was, was becoming rarer and rarer, less often given for shorter periods of time for a lesser amount. Pendulum swinging back the other way now. More alimony's being given out. By the time you get your divorce, 
you're going to have to ask your lawyer where that pendulum has swung to. Uh, because only a lawyer who keeps up with the law is going to know the trends and more importantly, know the judge you're appearing in front of. So alimony, their factors. And if you go on our website, aboutdivorce.com, you can see those factors. But it's the application of those factors to the specific facts of the case that makes the difference. Thank you very much.